Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video we will be looking at the Inertial Navigation System, or INS. What is Inertial Navigation System? An inertial navigation system is an electronic device that is used to detect and measure changes in motion of an object, such as an aircraft. The system consists of sensors that measure the movement of an aircraft, and the data is used to calculate the position of the aircraft relative to its starting position. The INS Sensors There are different types of sensors that can be used in the INS. The two primary sensors are accelerometers and gyroscopes. Accelerometers measure the changes in the linear velocity. If we consider an aircraft in flight, it is moving in a three-dimensional space. So normally there are three accelerometers installed for the X, Y, and Z axis. Gyroscopes These sensors measure the rotational acceleration. Since an aircraft can rotate on three axes, which is roll, pitch, and yaw, three gyroscopes may be installed. Inertial Measurement Unit This is also called the Inertial Reference Unit. This unit measures the linear and angular accelerations from the accelerometers and gyroscopes and provides this information to other systems. Inertial Frames of Reference For accurate measurement of the movement data of an aircraft, a suitable inertia reference frame has to be used. As per the law of inertia, an object at rest remains at rest, and an object in motion remains in motion until an external force acts on the object. The reference frame may be stationary or moving at a constant speed. The aircraft movement is caused by external forces. This movement is measured by comparing the aircraft's movement to the reference frame which is not accelerating. Normally, the earth is used as the inertial reference frame. How does INS work? Let's consider an aircraft parked on the ground. Since there is no movement of the aircraft, the accelerometers and gyroscopes give an output of zero. Now let's consider an aircraft taxiing in a straight line. Since the aircraft is moving in one direction only, or the x-axis, the accelerometer installed on this axis measures the acceleration and the distance the aircraft has traveled. This is the current position information of the aircraft. However, this information is relative to the aircraft's starting position. To compute the geographical position of the aircraft, more information is required which is typically provided by GPS. Let's consider an aircraft in flight. Now the aircraft can move or rotate on all three axes. The linear accelerations will be continuously measured by the accelerometers on all three axes. The rotational acceleration of an aircraft such as roll, pitch and yaw are measured by gyroscopes. This information is normally used for calculating the direction in which the aircraft is flying. By combining the information from the accelerometers and the gyroscopes, an aircraft's position relative to the starting position can be computed. By adding the GPS information, the actual position of the aircraft can be calculated. Errors and Correction This system will always have some errors induced because of the sensing technology and the materials used. The error gradually increases with time. The system errors can be reduced by performing calibration tests. The system has to be corrected every time before flight by doing a system alignment. In flight, the errors are rectified by using information from GPS or ground-based radio nav aids. That's all for my video on the inertial navigation system. Thank you for watching. If you like the video please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.